So throughout my PhD work, I was working in synthetic biology, manipulating mammalian systems, and then I joined George's lab as my postdoc to work on anti-aging. About six months into that, I got this guy right here as a puppy and immediately fell in love with him. I brought him home and uh, started playing with him and was like, I'm working in one of the most preeminent genetics labs in the world and I'm working on anti-aging. Uh, there's no reason I can't refocus to make sure I can develop something for him right now. It just really illustrates when you have to say goodbye to these, these animals that you love so much, the, the mismatch between the human lifespan and the dog lifespan, and just losing something you care about, someone you care about, is just really tough. I don't want to have to do that with there. There are many experiments in uh, animals, mostly mice, that indicate that you can reverse aging. The reason to do age reversal rather than longevity is that people don't want to be old for a long time. But the reason to do it in dogs is that the FDA approval process is faster for veterinary use, and dogs are good intermediate from mice to human because they live like human beings. They live in our environment. They get good medical veterinary care and people care deeply about the dogs. They're essentially treated like a member of the family. When people hear that we're attacking aging, oftentimes they think it's voodoo or pseudoscience. What we're really trying to do is have a dog's body act the way it did when it was a younger animal, when it could run around and wasn't getting these types of problems. What's changing is what genes are being expressed and how that body is functioning. I think one of the biggest goals of this project is to translate aging research into something that we can actually use as a genetic therapy. It's a great tool to allow you to put in exogenous genes into an older animal instead of having to breed it in. So far we've been able to accomplish translating three specific genes into gene therapies and treating four different age-related diseases in mice. Uh, heart failure, diabetes type 2, obesity, and renal failure. Um, we've also been able to translate our best therapy from those four experiments into dogs and seen that we are able to get the same levels of protein that are therapeutically relevant in mice in dogs.